This is the Catholic Daily Journal for Saturday, May the 25th, 2019. It's the feast day of the Venerable St. Bede. He was a North English Benedictine monk in the late 6th and early 700s. He was a brilliant teacher and a scholar who wrote the ecclesiastical history of the English people and is considered the father of English history. He was also a mathematician who had a special interest in calendars, which were a big mystery at the time. Now, obviously, people knew how to tell time and date, but there were plenty of competing calendars to work with, especially in England. There was the Roman, a.k.a. the Julian calendar. There were more local calendars used by the more Viking-slash-Danish crowd and the Celtic-slash-Druidic crowd and the Welsh slash long unpronounceable name no one can actually say crowd, just to name a few. And the problem wasn't whether today was Tuesday or Wednesday or whether today is the 25th or the 24th. It was syncing up historical events. So if Bede was born on March the 9th, 672 AD in the Julian calendar, what day would that be on the Welsh calendar? We'll now go back 300 years and ask about the Roman Emperor Valentinian, or go back further and ask about Boudicca's revolt in the 60s AD, which was a huge event in English history, and all of a sudden you can see calendars are tricky. And Bede put in a lot of years doing some very nitpicky research on everything from exact dates of solstices to new moons to floods and random mayors and governors of villages to create a cohesive history of his homeland and of much of the Western Roman Empire. It's also the feast today of St. Madeline Sophie Barat, the foundress of the Society of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. She was born in 1779 while a house fire raged yards away. She was baptized the next day and raised in relative comfort as a Jansenist Christian. Now, Jansenism is a heresy, but in a slightly different sense than Arianism or Protestantism or heresies. Jansenism is marked by excess rigorousness. Theologically, it's a misunderstanding of God's mercy and the authority of the church to teach. Practically, though, all of France was basically Jansenist for a few centuries, just as much of Western Europe and American Catholicism today are textbook examples of the modernist heresy. Madeleine Sophie was influenced by Jansenism, but her order was fiercely orthodox, and the Sacred Heart is an image of divine mercy. A Jesuit named Joseph Faren helped Madeleine Sophie to get her order off the ground in Paris, and from there she made contact with an order of visitation nuns who wanted to join up with her, and among them was the great missionary Rose Philippine Duchesne, who would bring the society to America, and who was herself canonized in 1988. Under her leadership, the order thrived. She died in 1865 in Paris and is the patroness of schoolgirls. Finally, today is a big day for nerds, both serious nerds and more casual nerdlets. For the casuals, today was the day in 1977 when Star Wars opened in U.S. theaters. No one, and I mean no one, expected it to succeed. And yet after 12 films with number 13 on the way and about 100 billion toys, Star Wars has earned a place in nerddom. And before more serious nerds get on my back, two of the 12 films I'm including are the Ewok films. I'm sorry, but they're Star Wars. More intense nerds celebrate today as Towel Day in honor of Douglas Adams, who wrote The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. For more information, you'll want to consult your copy of the guide. It's the big digital book that has Don't Panic in large, friendly letters on its cover. Douglas Adams' fever dream of a radio play has become an absolute cult classic among all sorts of readers, despite the difficulty of translating it into film. Towel Day references the beginning of the book in which towels are recognized as one of the most incredibly useful items one can possibly have at any point, especially when traveling intergalactically. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.